morning, Las Vegas Valley. This is 8 News Now This Morning with Dave McCann, Dana Roselli, Neighborhood Weather with Sherry Swens, and Beat the Traffic with Brian Loftus and Ken Smith. Your morning begins. What happens if it doesn't quite work out? <laughs> is there a royal prenup? Do they need one? Mm -hmm. We're going to visit with a local uh, lawyer who knows all about the pros and cons of prenuptial agreements. Oh, Elvis. A wedding. Look at that. What I printed up on my little printer last night. Don't so get all involved. <laughs> oh boy, you've really gone above and beyond, haven't you, Ken? <clears throat> <laughs> well, we're just one day away from the royal wedding, and there's a lot of talk about Prince William and Kate Middleton. They do not have a prenuptial agreement. So, is this a good idea? Is it bad? Adam Stokes joining us this morning, local attorney. Good morning. Good morning, Dana. Thank you for having me today. No problem. You and I have been discussing a little bit in the break. It's interesting right. about prenuptial agreements, and I was saying it just seems like it's always like a bad, not a bad thing, but uh, you know, it's not positive if someone gets a prenuptial agreement. It's like, ooh, they're getting a prenup. But what do you think about that? A smart idea for couples like Prince William and Kate. We're talking Hugh Hefner and his fiance, Steve Wynn. Um, that's a great question, Dana. The, the real issue here today is that not all fairy tales Mm -hmm. have happy endings. Right. <laughs> uh, whether it's the, I, I always wanted to say that, and we finally have a royal wedding mm -hmm. where, we, where we can say that. Whether it's the, uh, the prince uh, in, in, in his wedding or if it's our, our locals here in Las Vegas mm -hmm. that are getting married, uh, which, which, which means that uh, it's appropriate to consider what would happen right. if, if the wedding doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. and historically speaking, uh, at least from, from on, the, on the royal side, right. uh, of, of the queen's children, three of her four children were divorced, mm -hmm. including William's parents um, themselves were divorced. Right. Um, Di Diana took around 17 million pounds in that divorce, which was uh, oh. apparently all of her, her spouse's, uh, uh, all of his money, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which, which William is, is, has now inherited part of. Mm -hmm. the, if you're going to get into the, the idea of, 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 a, of a premarital agreement in Nevada here, uh, the, the chapter 123 of the, of the Nevada Revised Statutes, lays out some very specific uh, uh, requirements mm -hmm. if you're ever going to consider doing this. Number one, it's, it must be a written agreement. It must be signed by both parties. Uh, I have some notes here. Mm -hmm. um, there will be a requirement that both parties have fully disclosed their, their assets and their debts so that when the other side is signing, mm -hmm. they have a really good understanding of what they're signing. And, and, um, and I always encourage uh, other sides, when we're drafting a prenuptial agreement and half-price lawyers, that, that they should go get their own lawyer. Mm -hmm. So there'll never be any question that we used our influence to, yeah. to cause the other person to sign. The, uh, but, Sorry. Sorry, just got to wrap it up here quick, uh, shortly. Um, so basically, I mean, if you, if, if you have a lot of money, if you have a lot of assets, it, it might, it's definitely a smart thing to do. If not, not really important to consider. Well, it's not just the money, Dana. Yeah. Uh, for, for the royals and for the, the other marriages we have going on now, mm -hmm. like Hugh Hefner and uh, Steve <laughs> Wynn, uh, a, pre, a premarital agreement can also spare a lot of ex, uh, expense mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, a stressful public divorce right. over a lot of issues that were already determined in advance mm -hmm. because they decided to sit down and discuss the things that people should be discussing before they get married in the first place. Okay, interesting. Thank you. Oh, interesting thank you. insight. Th thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on. We'll be back after this.